Hi guys, it's Jimmy Baby again, or should I say it's Jimmy Baby, and I have a new video speaking about the time that I became vegan for like five years. Stay tuned and watch, guys. This video is going to take me all the way back to high school where I was actually a vegan for five years and then I stopped. Stay tuned and watch. The story goes as follows. One day, I was just like, you know, like, you're discovering yourself, whatever, and you're like, okay, maybe I shouldn't be doing this. Maybe I should be doing that. Maybe let me try this. And I remember always one time that I decided that I did not want to eat meat anymore. And I was like, I don't know. The last time I tried that, I only survived that, like, less than one day. So I was like, what's the point of doing this? So I decided one day, I think I was like, really young like 17 or 18 or something like that not even 17 but yeah probably 17 almost 18 or whatever and i was just like I'm gonna stop eating meat and like one day led into two days two days led into a week a month a year years and then like i really enjoyed what happened because i was able to shed pounds that i could not get rid of couldn't understand why I used to be exercising every day and like I'm still that size and I was like I mean after that like all my boobs disappeared and I was like my boobs are gone I don't have boobs anymore and like I just lost like 15 pounds like really really quickly and I was like how did I lose all this weight and it was all because I tried such a drastic vegan vegetarian diet and then like I started doing my research and like even before then I did my research before I did that and like I became I think I probably was vegetarian first and then I became vegan when I started to realize how many animal products are in all of the products that we consume in our everyday life and like common products you will find milk you will find eggs stuff like that so I was like okay let me be really really vegetarian let me become vegan and that's when i become vegan and the lifestyle in itself was very very expensive back then it was only me like buying food for myself so it wasn't really a problem but it was really really expensive the foods that i chose were really delicious i would say but in time i like got a little stall like i i, I couldn't eat those products anymore but there are certain companies that make very very nice products that are delicious very creative but I felt at one point in my life I felt like I was consuming too many starches and like my body started to get hungry and I got really really hungry and like I was like I did I, I read something somewhere where it said like sometimes when you feel your body craving for a particular um food it's like your body's lacking that like for instance if you feel like eating vegetables your body probably is lacking vegetables if you feel like eating fruits it's probably lacking fruits and if you feel like eating meat you're probably lacking meat or some sort of complex protein and i started saying to myself well maybe this lifestyle is not supplying me with the proper proteins for me to exist properly and i started thinking like this and then i was like where am I going to get this B12 from? Keep in mind, most of the products realistically that I ate were not vegan anyway. They were vegetarian. They were not 100% vegan. And then, only when I really cooked for myself and when I improvised different products within different recipes that I started to realize that, hey, this is a good idea. This is where I am 100% vegan. So, could I say that I was really vegan for the five years? I would say no. And I'm being a realistic person. I was being a realistic vegan back then. So I was like, I am still consuming animal products. And then one day I decided, I was like, oh my goodness, this boiled chicken looks so delicious. So I went in the pot and I decided to eat the boiled chicken. No one saw me. And then after that, all hell broke loose. Like, I just started eating everything and like I was like is this a sin or something why am I eating all these things and I just realized that my body was lacking these products I remember one time before that I was actually a vegan still a vegan or vegetarian and I was so hungry I felt like I could faint and I went straight to 
the food store and I got me some items and I ate them and I felt like I felt this hunger and weakness that my body's never felt before. So I was like, am I lacking iron? Am I lacking B12? Am I lacking complex proteins? I am so weak. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm so flimsy. I don't really have any muscle to my body. But one thing I could say that my hair it was growing so well. I don't know if that's another reason why I was growing like living that lifestyle was actually promoting that growth but my hair has never been that healthy in my life so I would say that type of lifestyle does bring about hair growth at least in my experience but what I would say is I probably never become vegan again maybe vegetarian or maybe because um, there were so many different types of vegetarians out there there was the lacto ovo vegetarian I was like that makes no sense you might as well just say that you're a regular meat eater then there was the regular vegetarian that just eats plants or whatever then occasionally consuming milk and stuff because everything has milk almost and then um there was like vegan nothing at all i think that's that's not realistic but hey everybody's entitled to their own opinion and then yeah yeah there's other types of vegetarians that actually said that chicken was okay and i was like you guys are not focused. You guys don't know what y'all are talking about. Vegetarians only supposed to eat plants. But me being om is it omnivore is it omnivore? Carnivore? I would say omnivore because I eat both, right? Me being the omnivore that I am and the realist that I am, I said I cannot live this life anymore. I feel like I was depriving my body of so much and then especially in your brain, your brain needs so many things to function properly and I was like, I can't live like this. I can't suffer anymore. And you know, there is a lot of scientific results and all these different things that say that eating this is good for you or not eating this is good for you, but then you have to realize that everything has its consequence. So I would just say be responsible. Uh, just be responsible and do your research and be moderate with everything that you do, I guess. And that's my best results. I mean, this is me, my best results, my best advice for that type of thing. Like, I don't believe that there's a real vegan. I feel like everybody is a human, so they're imperfect. So they slipped up before they accidentally consume some sort of um, egg or milk product and these things are perfectly natural these things happen you can't beat yourself up or things like that so just think about what you want in life and you live that life and you buy the products just keep in mind that yeah I should probably summarize everything and say the most important points and the tips that you should think about the most important thing that I would say is to one Allocate sufficient funds to always get your B12. Um, three, realize that almost everything has animal products in it, but that's up for the beta water discussion or whatever. And drink lots of water, take your vitamins, and be responsible with this lifestyle or that lifestyle because I don't live that lifestyle anymore. I'm not about that life. So that is it and thank you for watching oh also i was supposed to tell you guys how to get rid of hiccups and one way of getting the most effective ways of getting rid of hiccups would be to hold your breath <sighs> thanks for watching guys please like subscribe and share this video